So this is what your current score is right now. So if you were to pay this much, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, this is what your future score can be. That's pretty sweet, right? What's up, winners? My name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance and credit, starting out by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. As a full disclaimer, this is a sponsored video, but I've been using this tool and really getting to know it, so I'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts about it. First off, let's talk about Scoremaster and what it is. So this is a company that helps people become better with their money and credit with an emphasis on helping people achieve the best possible credit score. Their platform, they give you monthly three barrel credit scores and reports, money management tools, identity theft insurance, plus many more that I will go deeper in this video. So essentially it is an interactive and simple platform that allows you to get better financial and credit insights. So to get access to all these financial tools that Scoremaster offers, you first have to sign up and make an account. Signing up is pretty self-explanatory. For viewers of this channel, if you wanna get access to all these tools at a discounted rate from the homepage, just make sure you use my personal link down below. Once there, all you have to do is put in your own personal information, verify your identity, and payment information. Signing up will not ding your credit because this is only a soft poll. This includes three credit bureau reports and scores on a monthly basis, one bureau smart credit report and score, which is awesome, and many other features. Now, this is what it will look like whenever you make an account. It will tell you what is your current score right now. With the additional score builder and score boost, it can predict that your future score can be in the 800s. That's pretty high, especially if your credit score is starting in the low 600s. It also gives you your current grade, D, which is not good, but still passing. Here you get your monthly three credit reports and scores. You can also link your accounts and see where your money is going with the money manager. Additionally, you also get $1 million identity fraud insurance. Now I'm going to be going through everything step by step so you can follow along. Additionally, there'll be timestamps below where you can jump to a particular part. So starting off with score tracker. This essentially keeps track of how your credit score has been progressing whenever you signed up. As a side note, this platform does use Advantage 3.0 score and not the FICO score. As you can see here, it gives you a breakdown of what your current credit score is, your auto score, insurance score, and your hiring risk index. If you are not aware, each underwriter or lender may take a look at different credit scores to determine their decision. Commonly with auto lenders, there's a specific credit score that pertains to them. So they will rely more heavily on that score compared to your general credit score. Believe it or not, your credit score does play a role whenever you are looking to buy insurance. So this tool kind of gives you an estimate of where your current score is sitting. In this case, it predicts that your rates may be higher than it would be if you had a higher credit score. They also provide a higher risk index, which is pretty crazy to think about. Certain industries and employers may do a soft pull on your credit just to make sure the validity of your resume, education, and other personal information. So this is a pretty cool tool just to see how your credit journey has been progressing. Now let's move on to the score builder. This is definitely a unique tool and let me show you why. So when you click on the link, it will break down how you can get better credit in 120 days. As you go through the links, it will break down what your current score is and what your goal should be. So in this instance, your goal is 729 points, which is 90 points from the starting score. Along the way, they will also provide you credit education just so you can get a better understanding of how your credit score works and is used. Moving forward, it will show you all of your positive accounts, all of these accounts are the ones that are benefiting your credit score. Next, it will go over all of your accounts that are hurting your credit score. But it does get better. Unlike other credit related platforms, here you can see all of the actions that you can take. You can dispute credit reporting errors, request goodwill corrections, negotiate debts, and remove identity debt. Down below, it gives you a history of what you did in the past, like if you disputed any delinquencies, it will be shown right here. Since I was testing this feature, I canceled the action. Now, let's give this a spin. The first account here is with Citibank, and it looks like a credit card, and it is still open. On this account, it has a 30-day, 60-day, and 90-day late. Now you can decide what you wanna do with this. If you believe this to be an error, then go ahead and click on Fix Error. But if this is not an error, and you would like to ask for a goodwill correction, which is essentially asking for forgiveness, you can go ahead and do that. But if this account is not yours, then you can go ahead and report this account as identity theft. Since this account is already paid off, there's really no need to pay off this debt. But let's just say that this is an error. You'd want to click on fix error. Next, you need to select the reason. This can be, I was never late. Then you can click on next. Then when you're ready, you would just need to press confirm mail delivery. What's super awesome about this is that you can dispute incorrect information on your credit report directly with Scoremaster inside the platform. A lot of other third-party agencies or apps do charge extra just to dispute incorrect information. With Scoremaster, you can dispute errors or send as many goodwill letters that you want and there would not be an additional charge. Since they are not a credit repair company, don't expect them to send multiple rounds of letters while disputing. Also, these letters are going directly to your creditors. 
by law, they do have 30 days to respond. If they do approve your request, then they report to all three credit bureaus, saving you a lot of time. You just click one button and the issue gets resolved with your financial institution and the bureaus. Since COVID, the bureaus has been taking longer to respond, so this may be a faster route. Now, let's go back to the homepage and talk about score boosts. This is probably one of the most fun things to play with when you have credit balances. If you do not have any credit cards, then it would not show you anything. This tool predicts how much your future score would be if you were to pay off your credit card debt by a certain time. So for instance, if your current credit score is 639 and you're able to pay off at least $1,100 of your credit card debt, you can see an increase of roughly around eight points. It also tells you which credit cards that you should tackle first to give you the best outcome. So for this instance, if you were to pay off your MX and Capital One accounts, this will give you the greatest impact. As you were to play with the slider, it will then adjust to which credit cards will help your credit score more. It also tells you when you should pay off your credit card bill as well. In this example, you can get seven points by paying your MX by March 30th. So if you've ever seen any of my other previous videos where I tell you where you should start paying your credit card bill to get the highest possible credit score, this tool tells you exactly when. The pay by date is not your due date. So Scoremaster has figured all this out for you with over 60,000 financial institutions. This is really helpful if you have multiple accounts because once your statement closes, this will be the amount that will be reported to the credit bureaus. So once this happens, this is how the credit bureaus calculate your credit score. So with this tool, it will give you a visual picture of what to pay, when to pay, and how much you can expect your credit score to go up if you were to pay it sooner. Now let's go back and take a look at a smart credit report. Unless you are a person who is very familiar with credit reports, it can be very confusing and overwhelming to look at. But with this tool, it makes it very simple. You can see all of your accounts, you can see it in easy and advanced mode. You can take a look at how much credit is available, negative items that you have, your public records, collections, you name it. So this gives you an overall view of what's on your credit report. If you remember earlier, when you can dispute discrepancies on your credit report, you can also do that in this tool as well. So for instance, with Citibank, you can go ahead and click take action if you want to. You can dispute incorrect information, request a goodwill removal, ask questions that can be sent directly to your creditor, or settle a debt if there is a balance. Rather than me exploring every single tab, it is pretty self-explanatory. You can just play with it however you want. Now, let's take a look at the money manager portion of Scoremaster. This is where you can link all of your checking and credit card accounts so you can have an overview of your spending habits. It's on the same line as other money trackers or budgeting apps. You can take a look at how much cash and credit are available, recent transactions, when your payments are due for bills, and your spending habits. To be honest, this portion can be a little bit confusing because there are so many different colors and labels, which is really hard to tell which is which. I wish if you were to hover over a particular part of the pie, it would say what it is. If not, you would kind of have to figure it out. Now the other sections are pretty self-explanatory. I'll show you what are your assets, debts, and net worth. Additionally, with this tool, you can receive alerts for transactions over a certain amount so you can prevent fraud as it is occurring in your banking, savings, or investment accounts. Another little neat benefit that you get is the $1 million identity fraud insurance policy. If you don't have it already, then I can see this being very beneficial. You may already be subscribed to a similar service, other credit monitoring software, and some credit cards do offer this. But if you don't have fraud insurance, this is a pretty nice cherry on top. Now let's go over the last feature that I wanted to cover, which is the Privacy Master. So with this neat little tool, it will scrape the internet to see which websites are sharing and selling personal information about you. So as you can see here, I'm listed on a few different websites, and if I wanted to remove any of that information, all I would have to do is click remove. And just like that, this platform will help me get my information removed from those websites. Now here are my final thoughts on Scoremaster and their platform as a whole. Overall, I think this can be a very useful tool that anyone who's looking to be better with their finances or credit to use. Rather than just being a monthly credit monitoring service, it gives you a lot more compared to other companies. I really like the fact that they allow you to dispute discrepancies directly from their platform, and they also give you an estimate of how much your score can go up if you were to pay down your credit card debt. Since they do give you one three credit bill report and scores on a monthly basis, you can get a la carte as well if you need more than once a month, but it does come in at an additional fee. For the majority of people out there, once a month is plenty. Another thing that you ought to know is that this platform only shows Vantage 3.0 credit scores. Most lenders and underwriters, they tend to look at FICO scores rather than Vantage scores. So depending on the lender, this may not be an accurate representation of what they will see. What do you think about Scoremaster? Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you'd like to try Scoremaster for yourself, I do have a link down in the description and in the comments. And if you wanna hang out with me some more and learn more about credit, check out these videos right here.